Hello, this is Father Frank Pavone, National Director of Priests for Life, with Pro-Life Straight Talk, where we expose the truth about abortion with courage, no matter what the consequences. Abortionist Kermit Gosnell, now found guilty of murder in the first degree for three children, children whom we have named Adam, Alex, and Chris. Murder in the first degree. Now, I was at the trial, I listened to the arguments, I listened to the closing arguments as well, and let me tell you something, brothers and sisters. What was not in dispute in that courtroom was that these were babies, the word babies was used far more often than the word fetuses. They were babies, they were alive, and Dr. Gosnell was responsible for killing them. That was not in dispute. Here's what was in dispute. The method he used to kill them. The prosecution was arguing that these babies were born alive, that they were evidently alive because there was a heartbeat, they were, they were breathing, they were moving, some of them were making sounds, and that Dr. Gosnell killed them by having the neck cut with scissors. The defense, on the other hand, was saying Dr. Gosnell used digoxin, a medicine in, injected into the heart of the baby, and with the digoxin, he killed the baby inside the womb. And therefore, legally speaking, this wasn't murder. Because by the time those babies came out of the mother, they were already dead. Now let me ask you a question. Whether you hold a pro-life position, or whether it's someone in favor of, of legal abortion, is someone upset about the stories of these babies being killed 24, 28, 29, 30 weeks into the pregnancy? Do people get upset about this when they see the pictures of those bodies that were found in the freezer and in milk cartons and, and, and cat litter cartons? Do they get upset because of the fact that legally speaking, it's murder if the baby is outside the mother are they getting upset at some kind of legal dividing line? Or are they getting upset because these babies were killed? This is like if a man killed a woman and he went before a jury and a judge in a courtroom, this Gosnell trial is like if the arguments were being made about that man, well, he shouldn't be declared guilty of murder because after all, he killed her inside her house and not out on the street. Or, he shouldn't be guilty of murder because he used a gun, but not a knife. That's the kind of argument that was going on in this courtroom. Now the judge, the jury, the prosecutors, they were not there to determine the legality of abortion. That wasn't the purpose of the trial. Fair enough. But the fact of the matter is, it wasn't just Dr. Gosnell and Eileen O'Neill who were on trial in this case. It was abortion that was on trial. Why? Because we're being brought face to face again with what it is that really upsets us, that really disturbs us. It's that these living children were killed. Are we really going to say that because they did not prove beyond a reasonable doubt that for most of these babies they were alive outside the womb, that therefore this man is not guilty of murder? Are we really going to console ourselves about the countless other babies that he killed because of a legal technicality. Aren't we upset because the babies were killed? And isn't that what America should be upset about? You know, if I were Dr. Gosnell's defense attorney, you know what argument I would make? Here's the argument I would make. It is not so much this man who is at fault. It is the abortion industry. It is the advocates of abortion. It is the organizations that celebrate Roe versus Wade, which said that the unborn are not persons, which made it possible to kill them in the womb until the very day of birth. I would say that the climate created, the mindset brought about by the public policies, by the advocacy, by the rhetoric, by the philosophy that says that a few inches earlier, a few minutes sooner, you could kill these babies with digoxin, make their hearts stop, and you're not guilty of murder. As a matter of fact, you've carried out a legal health care procedure that's celebrated as a right in the United States of America. 
How can a man who practiced for decades in an industry in which that is the governing philosophy be expected to shift gears mentally, psychologically, medically, physically if that baby moves a little bit or breathes or cries outside the womb, now all of a sudden the man being paid to kill that child has to save that child? He's been found guilty of murder in the first degree. He'll spend the rest of his life in jail. If I were his defense attorney, I would say it's the abortion industry to blame. It's Roe v. Wade to blame. And so, brothers and sisters, let's get upset about the right thing. And let's use the details of the Gosnell trial to put abortion itself on trial and to bring a guilty verdict and erase this evil from our society once and for all. Go to KermitGosnell.com, a special website that we've set up about this case and about the things we have to do in its aftermath. God bless you.